Hey, it's Jason here. I am going to show you an example of a Freeze application that uses Facebook authentication. Uh, this is going to be a pretty advanced example. If you haven't already looked at the tutorial videos on the Freeze page, I would watch all of them first before you check this out because this is going to get into almost every aspect of Freeze, really. Uh, okay, so anyway, to get started, uh, we need to download the example file that I've done, the Facebook sample. Freeze.com slash assets uh, slash fb dash example dot zip. Grab that file, download it. Okay, let's unzip that file. Inside we have a database setup script, a screenshot of a Facebook configuration, application configuration, setup instructions, and the site itself. So first things first, let's set up the database. SQL Workbench is what I use. Uh, you can either just run the script or use the uh, server admin uh, restore. I'm going to use the server admin restore. I'm going to go to restore. It's a self-contained file. I'm going to select it. There it is. Database setup. Start the import. And we're done. Just to verify, open up the query browser. Uh, here it is. Freeze underscore FB is the new schema. We've got two tables. User and nonce. User is going to hold our user information. Nonce is going to be, if you don't know what that means, it's going to prevent people from using the same security token from Facebook more than once. Um, I'll get into that a little bit more later. So let's move that out of the way. All right, our database is set up. We're going to be moving fast here. Uh, inside uh, that freeze FB uh, machine config, if you remember, is where database settings go for a freeze application. Now I'm going to go ahead and type these in. So we've got, we'll double check localhost and freeze FB, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type these in for my machine. I'm just going to close the window because uh, I don't really want everybody to see my passwords. Okay, the window's closed. I went ahead and entered in my password there. Let's move over the application into your web root. In my case, I keep it right there. It's called Sites. So we should be able to, at this point, check out localhost, freeze, FB, and... Okay, we get this error that says... Uh, we need to configure the Facebook app ID and secret in controller slash auth controller. Um, I'm going to ignore that for a moment. I'm going to go over to users. I just want to check to see if we're connected to the database. The fact that I didn't get any error here would indicate that everything was working. So go back to this home page. All right. So we now have the app kind of running. We've got the database set up. The app is running on my local machine. That's standard free stuff. So here's where we're going to get into the Facebook stuff. Go to Facebook developers.facebook.com slash apps. Uh, click on the create a new app, which I already did. I'm going to go ahead and enter in uh, just a new app from scratch. Freeze test. And my namespace is going to be freeze test. There we go. And uh, you won't be able to use these because uh, they'll be the, they have to be unique on the system. So... Anyway, uh, let's continue there. Okay, so we have our app created. Now, normally, you uh, would not share this app secret. The app ID is okay to be public. The app secret normally wouldn't want to share. I'm going to delete this app when we're done with this anyway, so it's not going to do you any good. Um, since I'm running this on local host, I need to enable sandbox mode because I don't have SSL enabled. Um, you know, you have to have like the HTTPS enabled on your server uh, before you can. Uh, leave sandbox mode. Uh, we need two things that we're going to check off. That's website with Facebook login and app on Facebook. And for the URL, freeze FB is my site URL and also my Canvas URL. Um, it might seem strange that we're putting in localhost here on Facebook because how is Facebook going to know to contact localhost? Um, well, the, the application stuff is all done through JavaScript, so it's the client. Um, so as long as I'm on my machine localhost, this will work. But obviously when you actually release this app, you know, you need to put this on a public server somewhere. Um, and I'm going to make the canvas with fluid. Uh, that's it, really. Uh, the only thing I need to do is before I leave, the, well, I can go ahead and hit Save Changes. Okay, our changes have been saved, and now we have... Uh, app ID and app secret. So I have this freeze uh, project set up here in Eclipse, uh, all the source code. So the file that we're looking for is in libs controller auth controller. 
and you'll see there's two static variables here waiting for me to paste in this information copy and the secret. Okay, save that file. Now, if we go back to this page and refresh it, we have now a uh, Facebook login, which is uh, kind of which has been generated by Facebook. You can see here it says freeze test. It knows what our app is and everything. Uh, and when I click login, it brings up a f uh, basically an authorization thing. It's asking me, do I want to allow it? I'm already logged into Facebook, so uh, you know this is just Facebook stuff. This is not not freeze at all. Uh, when I click login with Facebook. Now, I'm officially logged in, and I'm authenticated on this app. You didn't really see anything because there's nothing in this app that uh, enforces the authentication, but uh, we are currently logged in um, as a Facebook user. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up right there because it's getting a little long. Go ahead and play around with that a little bit, and when you're ready, I'm going to have a second video, and the second video is going to go into opening up the debugger, and seeing what Facebook is doing and looking at the server side code to see uh, what's going on and how this authentication is really working. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.